Blue Origin is back in the game. Once thought to be dead in the dust, Blue Origin's new Glen rocket seems to have some life left in its tank, thanks to some new production developments that could lead to a showdown with SpaceX's Starship. Let's talk about the resurgence of the new Glen and how it could become a major asset for NASA's space ambitions. The battle for rocket supremacy is intensifying, and despite SpaceX's current dominance in the industry, Blue Origin appears to be making a resurgence after a prolonged period of silence. Jeff Bezos, known for his bold claims, now seems more assured, as significant developments are on the horizon in 2024. Blue Origin's new Glen production initiative is progressing further than many might have realised. After several years of delays, details about the rocket were finally unveiled during a workshop held on September 11th at the World Satellite Business Week conference in Paris. Jarrett Jones, the senior vice president for New Glenn at Blue Origin, revealed that the company is actively working towards the rocket's inaugural launch in 2024. They even alluded to the possibility of multiple launches, although a more precise time frame was not provided. The initial flight vehicle is expected to reach the integration facility by year's end. Following this, there are plans for integrated hot fire tests. Additionally, Jones disclosed that Blue Origin currently has four boosters in different phases of development, each engineered for reusability up to 25 times. Furthermore, the company is exploring strategies to potentially double its launch capacity, although specific details on these plans were not provided. At first glance, this development is certainly encouraging for Blue Origin enthusiasts. However, considering the company's track record over the past decade, it has left many people skeptical about the proposed timeline. There is uncertainty about whether all four of these boosters have been completed, or if they are merely components being manufactured without engines installed. Blue Origin statements do appear somewhat vague, consistent with their traditionally secretive approach to such matters. The pressing question that emerges is when these components will truly be prepared for integration, especially if there is a possibility of exceeding the originally projected timeline. Despite the doubts surrounding the timeline, the company appears to be genuinely confident in its assertion, and there are valid reasons for this confidence. Blue Origin, which is known for its reluctance to provide updates on its rocket production progress, has recently released a series of images that offer a glimpse into the new Glenn production process at its critical facility in Washington. It has been quite some time since we last had the opportunity to peek inside the company's state-of-the-art factory. During that time, they were primarily focused on the initial stage mock-up of New Glenn. Progress on actual test tanks and flight components was relatively limited beyond the structural test article. Following that point, communication from the company became scarce. However, there is some fortunate news as recent images and information have provided valuable insights into their ongoing work. During a recent visit by a senior director for manufacturing operations and assembly at Blue Origin, we could see a variety of rocket stage components, interstage sections and payload fairing domes neatly arranged on the factory floor. Furthermore, the presence of modern machinery and equipment, notably in clean condition, highlights Blue Origin's commitment to the production phases. These manufacturing tools are strategically positioned near the rocket components, facilitating the efficient transfer of completed vehicle stages onto trucks destined for a facility near the launch pad. At present, there are four boosters in production, although the exact stage of their completion remains unclear. It's important to highlight that Blue Origin's approach notably differs from SpaceX's methodology. While Blue Origin is currently producing four boosters, there exists the possibility that these could evolve into fully operational rockets, rather than serving solely as quick test articles discarded after data collection. This approach has been the guiding principle of rocket development for Blue Origin thus far. Jeff Bezos, known for his conservative nature in business, follows a deliberate development strategy. After each successful launch, a tortoise is drawn on the new Shepard rocket. This serves as a reference to Aesop's fable about the tortoise overtaking the hare, emphasizing the value of steady and consistent progress. As Bezos puts it, the long-term goal of their small team is to enable individuals to gradually adapt to outer space, taking a turtle's approach rather than rushing like hares, all while managing resources wisely. This raises the question, is Blue Origin's turtle approach superior to SpaceX's hare-like speed? The deliberate pace at which New Shepard operates has been a source of pride during its initial operations. However, it's essential to note that up to this point, New Shepard has only completed nine launches. Furthermore, Blue Origin's suborbital flight experience lasts a mere 11 minutes, with passengers spending just three of those minutes in zero gravity. It's a promising approach, but not without its limitations. The company faced a significant setback last year when a dramatic explosion of the New Shepard forced the company to halt its launches for a year. It will take some additional time before they can resume their operations. Additionally, the future of New Glenn remains uncertain in terms of its ability to compete with existing spacecraft. In contrast to the conservative approach of Bezos, Elon Musk and SpaceX have adopted an aggressive strategy to gain attention through bold innovation. SpaceX began the development of launch vehicles designed to substantially lower the cost of launching payloads into orbit. 
opening up the potential for the colonization of other planets, especially Mars. SpaceX's relentless and tireless approach to their work played a pivotal role in swiftly earning the trust of both the government and businesses. This trust attracted multi-billion dollar venture capital investments. It's worth noting that the company's journey wasn't without its early setbacks. In 2006, their initial effort with the Falcon 1 rocket failed when the first iterations of the rocket crashed during testing. However, SpaceX's remarkable ability to learn from past mistakes became evident as they addressed these challenges. In just two years, they resolved the issues and successfully launched a Falcon 1 payload into orbit. Within two more years, they entered the market with the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon cargo ship, which were designed to deliver payloads to the International Space Station. This achievement not only secured contracts with NASA, but also garnered the attention and trust of the US Space Force, further solidifying SpaceX's position in the aerospace industry. Recently, SpaceX has undertaken yet another monumental project, marked by meticulous planning and unwavering commitment to continuous testing. They show no fear of setbacks and are currently on the verge of achieving orbital launches with their cutting-edge Starship rocket. This juncture holds paramount importance. For Blue Origin to stay relevant in the fiercely competitive launch market, they must execute their launches as originally intended. The dynamic landscape of space exploration demands precision and adaptability, and competing with SpaceX's ambitious endeavors requires careful planning and flawless execution. Any additional delays could not only result in a shaky start, but also potentially jeopardize the future of New Glenn. The company seems to be well aware of this reality, which is why they have placed immense importance on the success of New Glenn's first mission. This endeavor represents more of a challenge than an opportunity for Blue Origin, but it is also an audacious move. The company recently announced a contract with NASA to launch the Escapade mission to Mars as part of NASA's venture class acquisition of dedicated and rideshare VADR launch services contract, with the launch targeted for late 2024. During the Escapade mission, it's anticipated that it will take approximately 11 months for the spacecraft to reach Mars after departing Earth's orbit. Both spacecraft involved will then spend several months adjusting their orbits, positioning themselves to collect crucial magnetosphere data. Given the Mars-bound nature of this mission, any delays in the launch date would result in a significant gap in the mission timeline. While NASA has a general understanding of Blue Origin's progress, they are also cognizant of the ambitious launch timeline. In a statement from NASA, they noted that the Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare VADR program provides FAA-licensed commercial launch services for payloads that can tolerate a higher level of risk by employing a lower level of mission assurance and commercial best practices for launching rockets. In essence, NASA acknowledges the challenging launch timeline, but recognizes that it's not a catastrophic event if launch dates are pushed further back. However, it's essential to understand that the risk of delaying the launch schedule implies that New Glenn might jeopardize its inaugural contract. This is a scenario that neither Jeff Bezos nor NASA desires, as it could have implications for the mission and future collaborations. Furthermore, New Glenn has clinched a substantial contract from Amazon, the world's largest technology giant, which includes 12 launches, among the payloads are Kuiper's internet satellites. However, Blue Origin's ongoing delays and persistent setbacks over the years have prompted some investment divisions within Amazon to take legal action against Amazon's board of directors. Lawsuit documents reveal that Amazon's decisions were allegedly unduly influenced by Bezos's external interest in Blue Origin. This is an issue that underscores the urgency for New Glenn to launch on time and ideally without any unexpected incidents. Jeff Bezos himself, NASA, and Amazon's board of directors all share the hope that New Glenn can be prepared for launch in the coming year. What do you think? Can Blue Origin fulfill its launch commitments in time? Let us know in the comments section below.